So I was looking at the Christmas tree the other day and I was thinking the lights on it are really nice and pretty but they're quite plain and while you can get some that flash or others that come in different colours, I thought could we, using a computer, do something a bit more interesting? Could we make some that are computer controlled? So I was inspired to build a set of Christmas tree lights that are actually controlled by the Raspberry Pi computer. The nice thing about the Raspberry Pi is that like the BBC Micro before it, it's very easy to integrate it with uh, electronics projects and very simple electronic projects like this because it has a set of input-output ports that you can use to program things. Now on their own, these generate enough voltage that you can just connect them directly to an LED and it will light up. So the input-output ports are great because you can set the uh, Raspberry Pi up very easily in software to have some of the ports as inputs, others as outputs. In this case I've configured them all as outputs and what this means is that I can set bits in the computer's memory or what appears to be the computer's memory and it will turn the output on or it will turn the output off under my software control. Now an LED has two legs on it so the short one is known as the cathode and the long one is known as the anode and the voltage has to fly from the anode through the cathode back down to ground. Now we can connect via a resistor the anode directly to one of the output ports on the Raspberry Pi and then just connect the short leg of the cathode to the ground and we can then program the lead to come on and off as we choose. So I started off my project by just prototyping that up by putting several LEDs onto my breadboard here and just linking them up to the Raspberry Pi and it worked really nicely. The programming is really simple. I just grabbed off the web a simple example and modified it to do what I wanted to do. But I wanted more Christmas tree lights than there were output pins on the Raspberry Pi. So what I did was I used these which are eight flip-flops in a single chip. These allow you to remember what the Raspberry Pi's output is even if it changes. So these have got eight memory locations and we'll look at them in more detail in a forthcoming video how they work. But what I can do is I can put up eight outputs and set this chip to remember them and then the outputs from this chip will always remember what that was. So if the LED was meant to be on or off it'll remember that. And I can then move on to program the next one for as many as I wanted. So effectively I can multiplex as it were the outputs of the Raspberry Pi to as many LEDs as I wanted. So I take seven of the outputs from the Raspberry Pi and I feed them to the flip-flops or inside these chips and I connect them both to the two chips I'm using and they're just bit one to bit one, bit two to bit two so they're the same which is why I've got all these wires here which are linking the two chips together. I also have two wires that come from the Raspberry Pi that go one to the first chip and one to the second chip and these enable me to program either the first chip or the second chip. So what I do, I set the data for the first seven LEDs and then say to that chip I want you to remember this and it goes to the LEDs and their output that pattern and I put set those outputs on the Raspberry Pi for the second set of LEDs and say remember that to the other chip and it remembers them and they come up with this pattern. So I built this circuit up on the breadboard and as you can see I'm still got some of the LEDs on here with the 14 LEDs on the actual um, breadboard and tested it like that so I ran it on there for a while and then I had to start the process of soldering together all the LEDs onto the wires so I could dangle these around the Christmas tree and Babbage helped me with the soldering. Babbage is a sort of mascot for the Raspberry Pi that you can get as a toy. So once I'd built the hardware I was able to start developing the software that was going to control this. At the moment the software is still very very basic and it's actually based off an example I found online. So it's basically just a very simple C program that allows me to turn by writing into the memory space of the computer the pins on or off in a bit pattern. So what I'm working on at the moment is to be able to, to specify what sort of pattern you want to go up and down the LEDs by giving it a simple thing that says this LED is on then this one's off then move them along one or reverse them so they go in the different backgrounds. Who knows I might even get it so you can tweet the Christmas tree with the pattern you want it to display. If we were all using this at full rate all the time, so we were all going, you know, then it just wouldn't fit. What it would do was to return the signal back via a different stud on the left-hand rotor, so it would take a different journey back through the machine to the way it came in. 